Right, so as an NFL player, have you ever seen some sus that you're like, this guy has money on the game if it's a player or a ref or something like that? We're in Denver, Colorado with former NFL player Lindell White. How you feeling? I'm feeling great today, baby. It's, it's a wonderful day in my city. Give out some wonderful locks, I guess, today. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you got some locks for me? Yeah, I got some good shit for you today for sure. NFL's about to start. Who we got for the rookie of the year? Right now, my rookie of the year, and this is a lot, B. John Robinson. Why you say that? It's, I mean, I know Art, uh, Arthur Robinson's the head coach down there in Atlanta. He is very fond of running backs, man. He'll find a way to put his running back in every position to win. So I, I like B. John Robinson. They say that there's two people in front of him, but I don't, I mean, Patterson's really good, but I just think B. John's going to come in and take over the job for yeah. sure. I'm in one of the biggest fantasy football leagues I've ever been in. I need a lot for a running back. Who is going to get the most rushing yards this year for a running back? Most rushing yards? That's easy, man. I'm a Tennessee Titan guy, so you know I'm going King Henry. That's only right. Mm. Derek, you, Derek Eugene. If yeah. I call you a Eugene, that means you are a GOAT. So Derek Eugene Henry. Derek Eugene? Yes, sir. Is that his, is that his actual name? No, sir. I have no idea what his middle name is, but if, <laughs> if it's Eugene, that means he's a shit. What wide receiver should I be picking up? I know this is going to be a shocker to some people, but it's a rookie down there in Baltimore that's dope as hell. Mm. I'm going to go with Zay Flowers. Lamar's going to have a big year with Odell out there. We got uh, Melvin Ingram back there. They got some help. They got Dobbs. Oh, yeah, they, I feel like that, this is going to be a big year, especially with the tight end coming back healthy. Mark Andrews. Yeah, they, I, I feel like he's going to have a great year this year, definitely. Okay. MVP this year, then? Yeah, the GOAT himself, Lamar Eugene. Okay. Lamar Eugene, you feel me? Yeah, Lamar Eugene Jackson. Um, but I also have one that, you know, people might not think, and I'm mm -hmm. going with it. It's the shirtless one, baby. Kirk Cousins. Yes, Kirk sir. Cousins. Kirk Cousins for MVP, baby, the shirtless one, for sure. That's probably a lock for sure. So I should be locking that one in? That's a lock, yeah. I think Kirk Cousins, especially with the addition of Jordan Addison over there, uh, wide receiver at Trojan, fight on. I think that we're going to have a uh, – I think Kirk Cousins has a, a wonderful year, for sure. MVP worthy, the shirtless one. Who you got that nobody believes in that's going to win their division this year? Ha-ha, <laughs> I got the Lions. The Lions? I got the Lions to win the NFC North this year. I know nobody believes me, but I think Dan Campbell has the guys around him now. He's starting to build a team the way he wants. Finally realized, like, when you give a, a coach the reins and get the players that he wants, you can win with them. So I think the, the Lions are definitely that, that dark horse out there where people don't think they can win, but they, I think they will win the uh, division this year for sure. How about the Cowboys this year? Cowboys are the Cowboys, man. I haven't really seen the Cowboys do anything since, what was that, 1996, I feel like, when Dion yeah. played for him. So I know there's a lot of cowgirl, I mean, Cowboy fans out there. So hopefully this is their year and they can, you know, finally win a playoff game. Do you think Dak's going to go far? No, I think Dak actually gets benched this year. What the fuck? Why you say that? Just, I don't know. That's what I'm going with. For some reason, something's telling me in my heart Dak gets benched this year. So Dak's just not him. I think he's a good quarterback. I just don't think it's what the, what the Cowboys ordered. Any other dark horses you got? I got a few unpopular opinions out there, but these are what I'm sticking with. I got the Dolphins to win their division for sure. Just like what Tua got down there with Tariq. Uh, with Jalen, they're so small. I know, but I feel like Mike Mike Daniels knows exactly what to do to protect the quarterback. He's a, he's one of those guys that's been around. He's a he's a really good coach, man. He comes from the Shanahan tree, so I honestly believe that Tua would definitely have a big year this year, and then the Dolphins will win their division. And I also got a crazy one for you too. Okay. Another unpopular opinion: Cooper Cup's probably going to get traded this year. You get to a point where it's like you're a little older. You're going to have to, like, if, if Sean McVay's probably going to rebuild or, you know, do something to have that team, like, in the hunt, I feel like they're going to have to do something, like, get get, get some yeah. draft picks or trade Cooper away. So, I think that that's what's going to happen. That's I'm not going to lie. I kind of fuck with that. It's unpopular opinion, though, because, yeah. you know, those, those L.A. guys do not want Cooper Cup to get out of there. So, it's going to be funny to see. Nah, but they might they might have to rebuild because, I mean, even right now they're predicted to only win, like, six games. Yeah, that's, a re that's rebuilding as it gets, man. Sometimes you got to just let go. And rebuild, man. We've seen it happen so many times in these organizations where, you know, you let go of somebody and, you, and you, you hopefully you, you get somebody good in return th through the draft picks. But we'll see. All right. We're going to do an over-under on wins per team. We're going to do a real quick. You just say over-under, okay? Okay, sure. All right, let's crank it. Dallas, over-under 9.5. Under. Seahawks, over-under 8.5. Over. Pittsburgh, over or under 8.5. Over. San Francisco, over or under 10.5. I think they're right at like 10 and a half, man, like 11 maybe. 
I feel so, about uh, it? Yeah, it's, I, I don't know. I, I, that's that's going to be a tricky one. Jacksonville over or under 9.5? Under. Under? Yeah, I'm a Titan, man. So anybody oh. in that division, I'm sorry, man. But I also don't – I mean, Trevor, T-Law is good, right? Yeah. I just got to see with the rest. I know Calvin Ridley's down there. I, I want to see him put it together again this year. He's a baller, though, so I, well, I'll get to see this year. Prove me right, wrong, whatever. Buffalo Bills over under 10.5. Over. Kansas City over under 11.5. Over. Atlanta Hawks. Uh, Atlanta Hawks. Atlanta Falcons <laughs> over under 8.5. Under. Chargers over under 9.5. I think they're going to sit right at 9, so under still. Green Bay Packers over under 7.5. Welcome to the NFL, love. I know you've been playing, but you're going to get to see. Under. All right, Detroit Lions over under 9.5. Over, man. It's the Detroit Lions year. I told y'all earlier. Detroit Lions, baby. Chicago Bears over under 7.5. Yeah, I can see Justin Fields pulling out about seven games this year, right at about seven, maybe eight. Tennessee Titans over under 7.5. Over, man. We're going to Super Bowl. I don't even know what you guys thought this was. Over. Vikings over under 8.5. Over. You have Titans versus the Minnesota Vikings in the Super Bowl with Kirk Cousins winning MVP, baby. The circus one. Yeah. 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 Colts over under 6.5. Uh, under. I don't have to. Where's their quarterback? Who yeah. is their quarterback? And who's their running back? Yo, who is their quarterback? Yo, what the fuck? Yeah, JT walked out. Yeah, under. You got a lot of doing something to do right there to undo what he just did. Carolina Panthers over under 7.5. Under. Bryce, welcome to the league. It's, he's going to be a really good quarterback, but th these growing pants for the first year is going to be how he becomes their great quarterback. Jets over under 9.5. I'm gonna go over. I believe in I believe in A Rod, man. Yeah. A Rod's one of them guys like Tom Brady. You get him in your offense, those people start to believe that they can win and they will. So I I, I say over. Denver Broncos over under 8.5. Over. Sean Payton gets gets those guys rolling this year with Russell for sure. Miami Dolphins over under 9.5. Over. Miami does has a great job this year. They 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 win their division. So over. New York Giants over under 7.5. Uh, I think over, man. Danny Dimes and, and Saquon got something to prove. Washington Commanders, not Redskins. It should be Redskins. For sure. Uh, over or under 6.5. I'll go over for EB because that's my guy. What the fuck is a commander? I have no idea. It's probably somebody in the war or something from back in the day, I feel like. I have no idea, though. New Orleans Saints, over or under 9.5. Under. Baltimore Ravens, over or under 10.5. Over. I'm a Lamar fan. Los Angeles Rams over under 6.5. Under. Arizona Cardinals over under 4.5. Nah, they'll go over. Philadelphia Eagles over under 11.5. 12 over. They'll get it. They got a they got a hell of a defense there. Raiders over under 6.5. Over for sure. Cleveland over under 9.5. Under. New England Patriots over under 7.5. They'll be about seven this year, so under. Tampa Bay. Under. Tampa, oh, Tampa Bay? Under. Just Whatever under. it is under. Yeah, without Tom Brady, it's going to be rough. Houston Texans over under 6.5. Under. Cincinnati Bengals over under 11.5. Ooh, depending on Joey. I go under. I don't know. That's going to be under. an unpopular opinion, too. Oh, under. Right, so as an NFL player, have you ever seen something sus that you're like, this guy has money on the game if it's a player or a ref or something like that? I mean, I, I've, thought, I've thought a few times that maybe somebody has some money on the game just, just seeing what they've done. Or how they run the ball and don't finish or something. Hell yeah, I've, th I've thought that before. Yeah. Never going to ask. I'm not going to put no names, but yeah, yeah, no, no. definitely thought that for sure. How much you think that is relevant to today's game? You think like shit is real sus? Not. I mean, we get people. We got people betting on games right now. They doing the yeah. probe up in Iowa, and you know where there's all these players getting caught betting. So I, I'm sure it's still going on for sure. Yeah. What about college? Easy. For sure. For sure, college, yeah. right? Hell yeah. Especially when they're broke as shit. Man, they're for sure betting. I don't know who it is, but they're yeah. getting the money to somebody to put the bets in for sure. Yeah, I mean, like, I would. I would, especially if I'm not going nowhere. Yeah, not me. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't give a damn. I was making enough money in college, so I didn't have to bet on, on the game. But, mm. but And, I mean, you never know. With this NIL, some, I don't know. Some people going to have to. But hopefully they don't fuck themselves up. We'll see. Any ref situations where you're like, this ref is sus as fuck. I mean, all the time. We see it every, you see it every yeah. Saturday, Sunday. You're you know, like, as a player, y'all feel the same way? Of course. We go in the locker room and we're like, man, are they against us today? So, yeah, you, you know how it is for sure. How you feel whenever people say that there's a script? That's bullshit. That's bullshit? Yeah, ain't no script about that. That's full of shit. Yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's just, there's just players that could be sus or not sus. Yeah, I don't, man, I don't believe no script ever. That's bullshit. <laughs> I have never heard that until like last year when somebody said that shit. You know, 
people that don't play NFL try to say that the NFL is scripted, which is full of shit. Yeah. We don't go out there and tear ACL because it's in the script. Yeah, right? <laughs> you don't get concussed because it's in the script. Oh, I heard you smoke weed. Is this true? Of course. I smoke big pot, man. I love it. I love weed too. Tell me, what is the best weed in America? I don't know, bro. It's too many strands. I've had so many different strands. You, you never know which one is. You got permanent marker. You got runch. You got gelato. Okay, so, so you smoke a candy. Yeah, I, I don't know. I smoke permanent marker, some gas, it's some heat. So, yeah. What the fuck is permanent marker? New one. It's like some real good gas. They got that shit here? Or they got it somewhere around here. I got to figure out which dispensary. But, you know, I'm all, all my people home grow. Okay. I, get, I get my shit from people that take care of their weed for real. Okay. If I were to get weed right now, where would you tell me to go and what strain would you tell me to get right now in Denver before my flight? I don't know. Probably just call me and I got some weed for you. But I don't, yeah, I don't really. Oh, you got me? I don't really do dispensaries, man. There's a few out there legal. I mean, there's a couple, man. It just depends. Nah, but fuck that. I got you, though. Hey, I appreciate that. Yes, sir, baby.